And so, uh, tons of people loved it. There's one in the White House right now. Uh, lots of people hated it and called me a fucking set up. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do that every other day. Uh, it's well, Wednesday, so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I have the Viva Obama in my house because I yeah. got it. And a little trivia thing um, I wrote a show, it was called Pain of the Macho. It was a one man show at the Goodman Theater in Chicago. And I asked someone to do the poster for the Pain of the Macho. And it was you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did my, you did my, you, I, I had an original Lalo in my house <laughs> of me. I look a lot thinner. <laughs> I'm just kind of sad that way, but, but it's him, it's him uh, uh, with the, the Virgen de Guadalupe, yeah. you know, raised behind him, going like, like, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to look all macho for this thing, but it's, it, but it's irony and satire. I wasn't saying it's great to be a macho, I was, I was making fun of it and all that world. And what I like, that's what we need. We need that Latino renaissance where we work with each other and, and continue to work with each other. And, and, and even though there are bad times for our people and everyone else, comedy comes out of it. I have to say, you, you know, Prop 187 made comedy for you and helped you. And for me, it started Latino Laws. I did Latino, Prop 187 came out at that time. Everyone said there'd be riots in the streets. Everything could turn, and turn up. And I said, I'm going to do a play instead. It's my way of protesting. So I did the play, and that play eventually went to Broadway. So a lot of times, from conflict comes up conflict. Yeah, and I mean, good art uh, leads to conversation, or also, I mean, the, I feel like a, a piece is successful when someone comes up to me and says, you know, I thought the same thing that you were thinking when you did this cartoon, but I didn't know how to say it. Yeah. And now I know how to say it. And so, which means to me, I'm not telling people what to say, I'm just showing them, you know, if you thought this way, this is how you would express yourself or explain it in this political concept to somebody. And that's what I like to do is like the breakdown and, and people concepts. Don't, they don't understand, what they don't get, like there was one of your cartoons is, is people running across the highway. And what we saw that sign growing up in San Diego, you cross up to LA and there's a sign this is, you know, I don't, I'm sure you've all seen him with a guy running across the freeway like this. He's not even holding his wife's hands. Forget about her, he's just doing like a minimum wage job. <laughs> and the little kid is hanging on with these indigenous hair braids. And you go, who came up with that picture? And so I think we need someone like you coming up with other images to, to take those images, turn them upside down, make fun of them. Which leads me to this next point. Take a look at this clip characters. Welcome. 